And so a pastime that many of us enjoy, whether it be playing Pac-Man, Tetris, Battlefield, something we all play and have fun with. Right. So who here has played video games, enjoys gaming, or has game in their life? Of course. <laughs> um, many of us um, hardcore gamers and casual gamers still game on our Xbox 360s or PlayStation 3s, and we might be saddened to know that eventually, like the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox, those consoles will not be supported in order to make better games for the next generation consoles, the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. So eventually we'll have to buy one of those two consoles. So I'm here to tell you which consoles the best one to buy. Now, based on facts, opinion, and experience, I prefer the PlayStation 4. I have been gaming since around 1998, with the Nintendo 64, then moved on to a PlayStation 2 in 2001, a couple years after that I bought the original Xbox, and then PlayStation 3 in 2010, then a few months ago I bought the Xbox One and the PS4. Now, these are the main core hardware specifications. Um, these are actually, I got them off IGN website. But I really can't explain it to you in depth without sounding confusing. So I'll just be simple and say that the RAM of the PlayStation 4 is better than the Xbox because it's based on video graphics, though it is supposed to lag more than the actual PC RAM of the Xbox One. It doesn't lag at all as it's supposed to, rather the Xbox One lags more. Um, PlayStation 4 has more shaders, which create better texture and detail in graphical environments, and has faster GPU speed, that way it runs better graphics faster, and renders them quickly, and also it runs at 1080p. <coughs> now, based on, gra on the hardware, we can talk about the graphics. Um, this is a screenshot of Call of Duty Ghost on the right hand side you find the Xbox One and the left hand side you PS4. You guys can't see uh, that well because of the lighting, but there's better texture around this particular area on the PlayStation 4 than on the Xbox One. Um, it has better lighting, the shading is better. Over there is too dark in a specific area and you can't really see all the wrinkles of the astronaut suit. Different example. Oh, um, okay. This is a screenshot of <laughs> Battlefield 4. Now, on that side is the PlayStation 4. Um, okay. This one is darker than the other one. The colors are oversaturated, which means that graphics don't look as realistic as they should because colors are over um, saturated. Like this chair would look darker green than it should. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, compared to the Xbox One, the colors may look washed out, supposedly, but they are more vivid and more realistic. You know? It's like the iPhone camera versus the Samsung camera. One of them has more washed out colors, so it looks more realistic than the oversaturated camera. And that's honestly that's a lot better. Uh, this is um, FIFA 14, PS4 is on that side. This is a foggy game. It has mist all over the field. It has and it's raining. You guys can't really see though. Um, because of the PlayStation 4 shaders, the game actually looks gloomy and sad as it should. Over here, you might be able to notice a bit. It looks bright. I mean. It looks nice and it's bright, but that's not the way it's supposed to look because it's, um, it's gloomy, it's supposed to be dark and misty, and it's not fun, you know? You, you bought a console, cost you about $500, and it doesn't capture the graphical environment as, it's, as it should. So, now that we discuss the hardware, the graphics, and if you're not convinced yet, let's talk about the services. 
Um, both require a subscription to their service. It's about fifty dollars a year, maybe. Um, they're both required to play video games online. You know, playing with friends or people against the world, uh, around the world. But for the Xbox One, it's required for almost anything. For using Netflix, so imagine paying eight dollars a month for Netflix and then having to pay fifty dollars a year extra to use it on your Xbox. For the PlayStation Four, you don't need the subscription to use your entertainment apps like Netflix or like the WWE Network. You can just load them up and go. Yeah, no cost. Because that's kind of weird paying for your subscription monthly and then another one to use that. So. For the Xbox One, you absolutely needed to talk with your friends, and that's just plain annoying. Um, <laughs> your friends are inviting you to matches, you see the invite pop up constantly, but you haven't paid your subscription yet, you can't tell them because they don't have a phone, you can only communicate with them on the Xbox, but you haven't paid it yet, you can't tell them, you can't game with them, and then all you see is your screen being spammed with invites, and that's pretty annoying. For the PlayStation 4, you do not need that. And that's awesome because you can party chat with all your friends. You can video chat using the PS4i. And it's all for free. That's cool. Um, also, if you're not also convinced by then, the PlayStation Force controller has this little light bar on the back of it. It changes colors. It has blue, it has red. <laughs> and you can do cool things with it. All right? For example, let me show you mine. <laughs> this is my controllers. It says Sid and Jenner for the blue and the red. And if that's not the most amazing thing you've seen, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> of course, you can buy more decals. Um, I found a setter on Amazon. He sells them for around $10, maybe. It's a bit overpriced for just two stickers, but this is the only one that I know that sells them. Uh, since the color chain is yellow, you can buy the Triforce from Link and Zelda. <laughs> and it will look amazing. For the red, you can also buy the anarchy symbol. And it just looks so... Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, here are my references. <laughs>